is 532, so I will call the special call work session of Mayor and Council for the City of Snowball, Georgia, Monday, January 9th, 2023, to order. Is that a special call meeting because we're early? Yes. All right, we do have a quorum. Everyone is present. So we'll go through the regular meeting agenda first. And just so y'all know, I should no longer be contagious. I've already been through a course of antibiotics and everything, but if I cough, it's not going to sound really great. So I don't want y'all to feel like I'm spreading too much crud around. Uh, we'll go through the regular meeting first. <coughs> uh, we have Chaplain Jackie Turner to give the invitation. Landon Bland to give the pledge. Uh, we've got proclamation for MLK. And then Kelly McAloon should be here with the Festival of Trees dinner. We've got the approval of the minutes. I've got some. Correction to minor corrections to the minutes. Okay, we'll mm -hmm. make that in your motion. Yeah. Um, we got invited guests to South Gwinnett High School students, music students. Okay. Let's On see. approval of the agenda, uh -huh. um, our GTIB application for Northern Wisteria is due a week from Friday. So we will not have another meeting before then. <coughs> and um, we thought that all we had to do was get the mayor to sign the application. Well, in the application that they sent us, they included a resolution. Uh, we just found that out this morning from Larry Kaiser. And so <clears throat> the application will be done, but I need you guys to approve that resolution. So if we could add one item to new business under the agenda, just approval of G2, just the application of the approval of the application to uh, CERTA. And uh, Matt, I think you might have um, copies of that, or we'll just, we'll, we'll, get, we'll make those and distribute those. But it's just, uh, it's just approving the submittal of the okay, application. Could you say that again, approve the application of the GTIB, it's G-T-I-B. G-T-I-B. Application to CERTA? Yes. What is CERTA? CERTA is the organization that um, reviews it and, and use their, uses their criteria. SRTA, remember, CERTA. SRTA. <clears throat> Last year, it's the state we submitted. Transportation. We did not get it because um, it was so early. We didn't even have a, a, a set uh, of plans. This year, we feel like we're in much better shape, and we are asking for a half million dollars uh, for or to offset the $2 million cost of the work. So um, I appreciate that. So is that new business E? Yes, it'll be new business E. So what are the police doing if they wore out their gym equipment? <laughs> yeah. Look at how bulked up he is. That Come on. <laughs> Okay, and then it's not we exactly have, new. <laughs> we have the second reading for the EO for 2203 for the Bill of the Rent Developments. You know, we didn't have any changes since the last meeting. Um, the only thing we did with Planning Commission was um, give a consistent definition for the measurement of the driveway from the back of the sidewalk. That's the only change. Correct. Yes, which which also mirrors what Gwinnett County uses. So. Okay. Um, under new business, we have the election of the mayor pro tem. So I see everybody is ready to uh, motion on that, and we'll have fixing of the qualifying fees for November seventh election. Uh, consideration of surplus of department or police department gym equipment and that'll just go on like the auction website mm -hmm. right. sure. uh, and then we we'll have the staff contract and then we'll have item E then uh, should y'all approve that the resolution for approval of the GTIB application That'd be and the, the staff contract is not changed it's uh, just updated for 2023 
All right. And Ms. then. Um, yeah, I just have some questions. Sure. Is there a way that we can see the contract for staff? Because I don't know. It the contract for staff is in the packet? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's just okay. the collection of the hotel motel tax. Yeah, they I get ninety percent of that, okay. and I think the budget and the schedule is also in there. Was it not? Yes, okay. Melissa. Okay, okay. sorry. Yeah. Okay. Did I forget to tell you? It's in the back. I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Any? Did you have another question, Solange? No, that's, that's it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then for council reports, just to save time, I wasn't going to poll everybody. I know mm -hmm. Solange said she had a report. Did anyone else have a report? No. I think all the reports are go dogs. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> you said frogs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was ready to. What? How do you name a football team? <laughs> all right, and then, so that's it for the regular meeting. Anybody have any other questions on it? <clears throat> okay. uh, any correspondence? Um, none that I'm, I'll just talk about in my report. You have a couple things in front of you. Okay. Uh, city attorney's report? Uh, I handed the check to Butch, but um, we got a check in the mail to Powell and Edwards for reimbursement of attorney's fees related to the opioid litigation. Mm -hmm. The city's already paid us, so we signed that up. Awesome. Hmm. Nice to have an honest. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just out of curiosity, what what, what kind of payment did we get? It was it was it was eight hundred and thirty something dollars. Oh. Like oh, wow. mm -hmm. oh man. Yeah. So that was a oh, right. attorney. Budget is balanced. We, we were getting two checks. We got the and first. I think there's more coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think those were the initial checks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think the first one was a couple thousand, but the next one was. A good bit more. 16,000. 16, mm -hmm. So I guess we'll just collect all that money up and then just make sure that we're spending that appropriately. Right. Um, Do we have, so we need to spend it on. It's got to be like, like drug prevention, drug prevention or prevention type um, things. Narcan and. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, and that kind of stuff. And we have to buy Narcan every year because it expires, mm -hmm. so it'll, it'll help us out a lot. Okay. What do they cost? Um, I don't know the exact amount. It was a contract rate with the fire department at one time. So we got a little bit of a discount, but I don't know the exact number. And then do we need an executive session? Executive session? Yeah, yeah we want an executive yeah, session. We do need a, uh, we're going to have a call in from Kirk Demetrops on the market. <clears throat> He's traveling. He's in Florida actually interviewing some other potential operators. Um. I just I wound up with two of the resolutions for the chief hub. Does anybody? I come on. Everybody get a copy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can have your way mm -hmm. Okay, and then city so the attorney's report. I just gave it. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the update of ongoing projects. Um, let's see. The, there are a couple of things that you have in front of you. One is the annual audit. Uh, we got it bound and out yeah. by the end of the year. I'm going to uh, read that before I watch any football tonight. <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe just save it for that. How exciting. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, uh, uh, but we, we finally got the new logo on there, and uh, uh, Matt Pepper is included in there. So, um, And Matt Pepper has also uh, sent out a budget calendar. We've officially started the the city budget process for um, F uh, FY24. Um, <clears throat> the review that, and any uh, questions you might have there, there's a little management letter included in there. Um, you also have a packet of information that we'll be able to utilize on Kirk's call, <coughs> which is basically the um, <coughs> building plan, the layout of the building, and then some potential changes that uh, he feels like we'll we'll make it a little stronger candidate for a, for a, a, another operator. We'll talk about that on the call. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, town center. Every contractor is back after the holidays. Um, the I, I know um, you know I'm sure some people think that uh, we have some citizens who are thorns in our side, but we took. Mr. Flynn's um, issues, stormwater issues, and have uh, um, done a lot with that, a lot of review, 
and we found a buried storm inlet uh, in the that Hodges and Hicks had buried that uh, they now have uncovered and have fixed. And I, I called him today to let him know. Uh, we know that was a source of uh, um, some of the erosion. We don't think it's our total problem. Northside obviously had some issues, which they have fixed now. And the latest tests that we've had are the turbidity is all within the normal range. We got half of the half of the max. So, um, but that doesn't mean we don't have orange water. So we're still working on it. And we know CPL needs to work with us on our uh, ponds out there. So. Um, we're addressing that as as quickly and as thoroughly as possible. So uh, I think that's good news as far as there. And Hodges and Hicks jumped right on it. Um, <clears throat> sidewalk improvements. We now know there are 68 parcels for easements or uh, construction easements. Um, easement work will start. Easement collections will start in January. Um, we have had a had a good discussion last week with uh, uh, Gwinnett Water regarding their water line project on Valley Creek, which also will will impact Pinehurst uh, about 2,000 feet of the of the Pinehurst sidewalk plans, and they opened the bid on their work. Uh, new water line, it's great for the city, it's great for those residents. They opened the bid at the end of January. We're going we're gonna to work with them to try to coordinate our construction with theirs. Because, uh, you know, and the, the timing is going to be very, very close right now. Um, they aren't sure when exactly they can award. It takes them about three months to work through the Board of Commissioners and get everything awarded. So, uh, but in, in, after that meeting, um, I called some contacts that I've had. We have probably twice a year a planning meeting with Gwinnett Water. Basically, what's happening in the city and what's happening around the city. We share information on potential development with them and our needs, and they share with us what's going on. Uh, that's with Lisa Willis and some of their higher level planning folks. Um, She's getting back to me with a couple of days, and she said the new director, Rebecca, would sit in on that, just like Tyler always did in the past. So I will let you know, and if a couple of you guys could go with us, it would be really good, because I, I don't know the new director. Y'all might. Uh, we, knew, we had a great relationship with Tyler. Um, this is one of the reasons, if you remember this project, we're getting about $400,000 and $450,000 worth of paving for 200000 so um, it, it behooves us to, pull, to keep that relationship going. So I'll let you know about that meeting. And I think if we really push the coordination of our sidewalks with their uh, water project, they'll, it'll come together. Um, so um, just a, a, an update there. And, and that, that bears watching, and I'll, I'll, we will continue to keep you updated on what's that. what's the name of the new head of Gwinnett water Rebecca um, oh my gosh is she wait a minute let me look at she you. was promoted from in, yeah within she was number two I think I yeah. thought she was the assistant I'm, I'm sorry I thought you just said it the, so I didn't hold on a second let's see uh, let me look at Lisa's Rebecca Shelton Rebecca Shelton yes okay. that's right yeah. It says acting director. Um, I don't know. Um, but uh, Lisa's always met with us. Uh, uh, Yi Su, who is the division director um, of infrastructure support, has always been a big help to us. Uh, so um, we'll have the right people in the room. So let's see, neighborhood beautification. Um, Matt and Craig have done a good job, really good job, working with uh, <clears throat> working with waste management to hopefully roll out a new curbside recycling program by May one. Um, working with with Rick Jarvis and uh, Rick, you have to remember Rick is is just a part of our contract is with waste management, and you have to remind that 
to Rick uh, pretty often. So we're making sure we're all on the same page. Uh, but I think that's going to that's gonna work out well. And, and I will let you know, uh, Rick had called me about two weeks ago to let me know that <coughs> Loganville's moving forward with doing the same thing that we are um, with their curbside recycling as well. And Grayson already has. Grayson already has. We're essentially kind of taking over what Grayson's doing, and that Loganville's going to do that. And theirs. Lawrenceville did a while ago, didn't they? Um, well, they changed. They changed to like every other every week. Every other week, week. Twice a month or something. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Kirk is saying that he's available. I said give us 10 minutes. So, um, Let's see, uh, neighborhood beautification. Also, um, one of our favorite um, code enforcement officers, Johnny Green, will attend our retreat. And uh, so we'll have a good conversation with everything that's going on out on the street. Um, zoning category review, time center signage is moving forward. We've met with them. Uh, there was a Rosebud 78 update meeting held. I'm not sure who attended that. I think you did, Todd. Uh, from Jeff Timler and, and a development yeah. group, and I, I take it that was pretty positive. Yeah, and I sent out the information to all the members or all the council, mayor and council. So uh, um, that's uh, that's good progress there. Package sale still still working, moving forward on. Yeah, we've got an application draft ready that I need to shoot over to Jason. Great, great. Uh, let's see, uh, economic development activities, we'll have redevelopment and annexation goals on the retreat agenda. Uh, Briscoe Park plot project, uh, winter work is ongoing. <clears throat> we've got a couple of public restroom issues with pressure, with plumbing. Uh, we've made a good time contact with a, um, a very helpful independent plumber that we from Cobblestone. Uh, and we shared that with Lisa, and so hopefully we'll, we can solve those problems before things pick back up in the spring. Uh, we did receive our appraisal on the Lenora Church property. Uh, it came back at $750,000. And there's also a lot on Springdale, which we could or could not um, uh, sell, and it was $65,000. So um, we're just kind of looking at that, talking to different realtors to see what what they might be able to bring in. So, so, so the seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars doesn't include the big parcel of rock. No, no, it's the front farm. Barbara, the farm up. <laughs> so, the, we, we uh, get to keep the rock. We get to keep the. And rock. we would maintain an easement to get to Baker's Rock, of course. So. Um, uh, and what about the lake wall? What about what? The lake wall. The lake wall. We've got um, uh, Amshiv is looking at becoming the sub there basically doing most of the work we've got to get back with them uh, they, they looked at it we just don't have a price for them oh so the company that we approved is it doing it yes they will be the they'll be the lead contractor but their subs could not comply with CDBG regulations um. and but the good thing is the county is now kind of back in the saddle as far as CDBG They're, they've got some staff members We've been working with them. We've provided all their information. We're still good with CDBG. Uh, we just got to see what, what Amshiv's number is as far as them serving as the sub, because they do CDBG projects everywhere. So um, sometimes you just have to make that puzzle work. Uh, North and Wisteria, we know that we're just a little over half an acre for total property needed now. Um, we should start. Uh, property acquisition at the end of this month, uh, and we're still waiting on GDOT as far as one, that 124 connection. We need to get in touch with Mr. Mason and see where we are there. So um, that's about all I have now. Okay. And then we have the discussion about room rentals and private homes. I will bump that to our next meeting. Yep. Okay. You got 40 minutes. <laughs> you be quiet. <laughs> okay, then we <coughs> I was advised we can do the next part of the meeting in exec session. Because um, that was it for the work session, right? Mm -hmm.
During the work session of the mayor and city council of Snowball, Georgia, Mayor Bender announced that certain matters should be discussed in a closed session of the meeting and asked council to advise the city with respect to closing the meeting. The city attorney, Jim Crowley, advised the city of the following reasons to close the meeting. 